candidates. During the past weeks, representatives of Austin Interfaith have met with the major candidates that are running for their office to discuss our agenda of issues from both their perspective and ours. They have received beforehand the questions they will be asked today so that you can be prepared to hear the response. Our expectation is that the candidates will be held accountable for their answers and commitments. If a candidate has agreed to support our agenda item, they will fight for it and create legislation to make it happen because they agreed to make this a priority. Before we turn to ask the candidates about their commitments, first a word about the nature of this commitment. Accountability is based on mutual trust. On one hand, we trust that when new candidates make commitments, they will be kept. For example, filing an ordinance, an amendment, or voting for these items when given the opportunity. In other words, we expect that you will leave. At the same time, we understand that disasters and crises happen. Similar to when Hurricane Harvey hit Houston and totally upended what the city had to prioritize. Who knows when this rain we're having will stop? I guess it did today, but it could come again. We do ask you to make commitments today without qualification. But if you're not able to keep that commitment because of a crisis or disaster, you need to trust that we are reasonable and will not hold that against you. But let's deal with that if and when it comes, and not let it get in the way of making commitments today. Good. Yeah. Nice to see. We now turn to our guests, the candidates, to see where they stand. The audience will have scorecards to keep track of responses. We have a designated timekeeper who will ensure that the candidates keep within their 30 second uh, response times. Will the candidates for city office now come down and be seated at the first row of pews on the lower level?